hey guys what's cracking welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is maddie if you are new here so hi if you haven't seen part one you can go check that out on my channel i'll have it in the i card above but i made the perks of being a wallflower page and i've made quite a few pages since then so i'm just kind of showing you guys what i've done and if you're new here and this is your first time seeing one of my film journal videos hi i've gotten a lot of requests for a part two so here we go So as I said in part one, the very first thing that I do is I go to Google Slides and I actually have a um, slide presentation that is fit to my journal, but a lot of you guys wanted a more in-depth tutorial on that. So the first thing that I do was I measured the width and the length of my journal, which was 5.5 by 9 inches, and you can convert that to centimeters if you have to for wherever you live. And then I create a new document, go to file, then scroll all the way down to page setup, and then you're going to go to custom, and then type in the dimensions of your journal notebook whatever and mine again was 5.5 by 9 inches and then you're just going to go to create a new text box that is the size of the page and then i use crimson text size 15 usually and then you can begin typing and i just typed out subscribe because you should subscribe once I have that and I'm ready to go, I make a copy of the last page that I made just so everything's still intact, and then I usually go to IMDB or another information page to find the director and just other information I might need, and then I write a synopsis, a review, and then film techniques that I think the film used to get the story or the message across. Then, of course, if you are a longtime subscriber of the channel, you know I go to my holy grail, Pinterest. You can follow me there at Madeline Curlis. I love Pinterest. I use it all the time. It's my favorite social media ever. And I just look up the film that I'm doing. And then when I find an image that I like, I right click or double click and hit copy image. And then I paste it into my doc. And I, again, kind of use the page before that as an outline to where I want to put the pictures. And yeah, that's what I do for all of these photos. I also just wanted to say really quick, I got a lot of comments um, asking about why I type it instead of handwriting it. And for me, I type it because I just think it looks cleaner. I like the look of it better. Um, but if you want to handwrite it, by all means, go for it. The next thing that I do is I look for quotes from the movie. Last time, uh, somebody pointed out that I accidentally used the book quotes, which I did not mean to, but I look for quotes from the movie. And for this one, I picked a couple quotes that I thought were significant. And then I print, and you have to make sure that you only print the pages that you just made. So for me, it was 29 and 30. You wanna print them on normal letter paper and bada bing, bada boom. Once they are done printing, I then just cut out what I need. Sometimes I cut the pictures a little bit shorter than what I originally thought just so they fit better onto the page. So while I'm finishing cutting everything out and gluing things down, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit more of a summary about the movie. So the movie is called The Florida Project. It was directed by Sean Baker, and basically it follows around the life of uh, Hallie and Mooney. I'm really bad at summarizing things shortly and telling stories, so I'm just going to read you the summary that the IMDb had. So it says, In the shadow of Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom, the Magic Castle, a garnishly painted, rundown motel crammed with the imperceptible homeless who can't afford a proper accommodation, is the unenchanting world the struggling ex-stripper, single mother Hallie, and her fearless six-year-old daughter Mooney call home. But for Mooney and her riotous gang of best friends, this place is also a magical playground of endless adventure and blissful utopia nestled inside innocence's protective bubble. Nevertheless, the illusion of a carefree life comes at a high price, as young Hallie takes increasingly greater risks to make ends meet. Over the course of a single summer, childhood's wide-eyed moments of wonder, together with the reckless transgressions of youth and an inevitable, ugly confrontation, will attempt to blemish the mother and daughter idol. And I really love this story. I thought it was super creative to kind of put that um, irony in there, how they're in this rundown hotel, but it's right outside of like the happiest place on earth. Even though 
you know, Mooney and her friends still find these ways to stay imaginative and creative and just live out their childhoods. Um, I really did love this movie and it actually left me shocked. The ending was, you know, it's kind of confusing, but once you understand kind of the message behind it, it becomes a lot more deep and meaningful. Um, I think the movie kind of shows the slow loss of innocence that Mooney once had as a child because slowly she kind of becomes more aware of the situation that she's in. I just thought it was great and I definitely think if you haven't seen it you should go watch it because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, yeah, but uh, film techniques wise, I think there are a number of creative um, acting, writing, and directing skills in this movie, and to make sure that the story was told well, Mooney's shots with her friends are very bright and fun, whereas the adults and the trials and tribulations that they are facing in their own lives, a lot of their scenes are very dark and at night to kind of show how they see the world differently. And I think that the director, uh, Sean Baker, did an amazing job portraying these characters because I think, you know, it could be something that could be taken completely the wrong way. You know, you want to portray these people so that you show that they are just people trying to live their lives. And I feel like the media and other movies do a really poor job of portraying this correctly. And I think this movie did a great job. You really feel for Hallie and Mooney. But yeah, that is what I think of this movie. Uh, I definitely recommend you go watch it if you haven't, like I said earlier. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this movie. Um, I would love to talk to you guys about it, hear your different viewpoints on it. Um, also comment down below movie suggestions or if you'd want to see more parts in this little series because they're really fun to make and honestly very relaxing and therapeutic for me. So seriously, let me know. So this is the final product of the page that we just made. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment down below if you want to see more, subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.